Sorry. I love breakfast already. <laughs> What's a little bit about the uh, film? Um, yeah, it's a suspense thriller about an English hitchhiker uh, s stuck in France. And he uh, meets a fellow traveler, a beautiful French girl, and uh, they sort of hitchhike together and then they get entangled with this really mysterious married couple and uh, nothing is what it seems and you don't know who to trust. So when casting for a film like this, is there anything specific that you were looking out for? Um, that's kind of a tricky question because uh, I, I don't know, I was trying to find somebody that kind of had a nice energy to them rather than like thinking about the character. I wanted to try and find an actor that could bring something that maybe I would be surprised by. So I basically just met many actors and just depended on whether we got along as friends or, you know, like on that kind of level. However, uh, the one role for uh, that Frederick. Piero plays, um, he's the husband in the married couple, it was pretty much written for him because uh, I've been a huge fan of his uh, for a long time and it was actually before he did the return so it just worked out really well uh, that internationally he's quite well known for that, for, it's a good power film. This isn't your first horror film. Yeah. Um, is horror a genre that you really enjoy working in? Well, I mean, people like, a lot of, obviously, because it's Fright, um, Fright Film Fest, a lot of people have asked that, but to be honest, when a genre movie kind of covers so many types of movies, so it's hard for me to, like, really associate to, like, that term, because the other movie I did was a vampire movie, Kiss of the Dam, and then this is a thriller, so it's kind of radically different but somehow they're kind of put under the same category. Yeah. So I I think I, I like that genre as long as like the part is interesting. I like any movie as long as the part is interesting and the director in, you know is interesting and ambitious with his film and believes in it. But it's hard to just relate to that term that's kind of like, it's almost like saying like, do you like pop? You know what I mean? It's like, I don't really know what it means because it's a very kind of large term that covers a lot. Tell us a little bit about the um, the film. Uh, the film's called Road Games. It's about a young guy hitchhiking across France, and he meets up with a young lady. They fall in love, but all the while there is a killer on the road. And it's a thriller, suspenseful. Just watched it. We really like it. So hopefully the audience likes it too. What does it mean to you to be at Fright Fest this year? It's my first time ever here. Um, I was just saying to the guy over there, the audience here, they just listen and they're smart, which <laughs> is Yeah, but they're smart. <laughs> like they listen and, and they take it in and they're respectful and mm -hmm. oh, it's great. They're brilliant. The audiences are brilliant. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you again. again. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about the character you play in this film? <laughs> well, the movie is Road Games mm -hmm. and... Um, we're having a world premiere here at Fright Fest. Uh, my character is quite nervous and quite scared and upset because there's a serial killer in our midst. Uh, the movie takes place in rural France. I'm married to a Frenchman, I'm an American. And um, there's five main characters in the movie. And um, it's a little bit mystery, um, a little bit love story, a uh, tiny bit of adventure. And we're not sure who the serial killer is until the end of the movie. It could be me, could be my husband, it could be one of the two hitchhikers that we meet early on in the movie, or it could be a crazy neighbor. Um, and at any one point in the movie, the way Abner has crafted it, he's our director and writer, you think it could be any one of us at different times. So it was, it was really, really fun. Um, to make this movie. It's very very cleverly written and it's beautifully shot, gorgeous. I saw it on the big screen for the first time just now and it's just luscious and, and beautiful. We actually shot it in England uh, but it takes place supposedly in France so yeah, I, I hope everybody likes it. Um, I When I first read the script I didn't know who the killer was until the very end of the movie. I was hoping it oh, was going to be me, <laughs> and it might be. Um, you'll have to watch it to find out. Oh, we, oh, we will. We will definitely. 